tonight's video, we're going to do some cool things, as in coolant things. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install the radiator, an M44 radiator. Uh, I think I figured out how to make it work with my uh, M52 swap. Most people uh, just go and buy an M52 328i radiator, whatever, and make all that work. But I got a bunch of M44 radiators laying around. I got some universal fans sitting in the pile. So, uh, and I, I bought some Y connections because I looked at the flow diagrams between the two engines. And I, I think I know how to make it work. So we're going to give it a whirl. Um, and then maybe in like two weeks when we start the car, we're going to find out if it works or not. So when I drive down the road. So and we'll tell pretty quick when the car starts boiling and steam starts coming out of the hood so uh, here we go we're gonna try this out and stay tuned to see if it works or not so here's what I got so back over there behind that yeah so behind the dipstick over there that's where the heater core inlet and outlet are down there is where the reservoir, the bottom of the reservoir goes into the engine. On M44 and radiator, the, the reservoir bottom sits over here. On an M52, like a 328, it sits over here somewhere. So 318Ti and 318I sits over here. It's attached to the side of the radiator. For the 328s, uh, it sits off to the side over here, or does it sit over there? Well, it doesn't sit here, so it sits over there or over there. Okay, I got a piece of like 3 quarter or 5 eighths hose that's like works perfect. It has a little 90 degree bend. It'll come off of that and into the reservoir on the side of the M44 radiator. M44 radiator. Down here is the bottom of the reservoir. It needs to go back this way, right? So. I got this piece of hose, which is off of some BMW, but if it's perfect, it's got the great little bend on it, pow pow. So I'll put that on there, bring this to here, and it goes right to the bottom of the reservoir. So. I'm going to do that first. Probably right here in between, I'm going to cut it and add this Y piece, which I got off of Summit Racing. I think it was like $7 and some odd cents. Works with 3 quarter and 5 eighths hose. Um, says the uh, documentation. It kind of fits a little loose in this 5 eighths hose, but uh, it says it will do it, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll leave the part number in the bottom in the description, but so I'm going to cut this here, pop that in here. The reason for the Y connection is because I'm going to bring, so the if you're looking into the engine bay, on the left side of the heater core is where it goes in from the engine into the heater core. On the right side is where it comes out. So from there I'm going to run it out and I'm going to get another piece of hose. I don't have any at the moment. That'll be at a later date, but I'm going to get a piece of hose that goes from the out, the out port of the heater core down along here into this top part of the Y. Then that way it drains into the bottom of the reservoir. So that way I have the return from the end or the return from the engine and the return from the or the excess from the engine and the return from the heater core running into the bottom of the, the reservoir. So that's what I'm going to do first. So, got to make some cuts and splice that in. Yeah. 
pal. This will go like this. This will go in here. Like that. So, return from the engine. This will go up. So, side of the engine, return from heater core into bottom of reserve. So, now we need some clippies, aka tubing clamp, pipe, whatever, jigs. These things. Six millimeter. All right, so what we got here is a wire connection installed, and then we slide this mamma jamma up in here. Pow pow. Hopefully, that's long enough to reach the reservoir. Balls. Need a longer piece. Need a longer piece. Need a longer piece. Alrighty. So, I made this masterpiece here. Uh, hopefully this works better than previous masterpiece. Oh, Freaking two inches, man. I have that other piece, so I might go to the auto parts store tomorrow and find a male to male so I can put these together like a splice. Right? Maybe grab two of those. I got that extra piece that I cut off that was down here that was too short. So I'll cut this, get two male to males, put those in, extend this. I'm only short by three inches. And that'll totally work. So, so for the two main lines, uh, passenger side and driver side coming out of the front of the engine. All I did was order, uh, since this is an M52 out of a 98328i, I actually ordered just the regular coolant line, the main two coolant lines uh, for this engine. The passenger side one fits up like perfect to the M44. Uh, and then I'll show when I move the camera, the driver side one fits up almost perfect it just needs a few inches cut off so I'll show that here once I move the camera if you notice the 328i one normally would come way out here right because it takes a larger radiator well we don't have that we have a little M44 radiator um, so what I'm going to do is it runs to about here so I need to cut it about here so I'd recommend if you are going to do this where you cut where you do the M44 radiator and the 328i coolant lines, I would recommend putting this line if you're going to do this and then cut it. I would recommend doing this first before you put the radiator on because that would give you more room to negotiate it on. So instead of having this in the way the whole time. Done. So, this is how to hook up a uh, M44 radiator to an M52 uh, for your 318Ti M52 swap. Uh, I hope the video was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, shoot me a comment. Shoot me an email. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. I have no problem taking the time to answer any questions. Uh, glad to do it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, check out all my uh, social media that I'll have linked below. I'll have that little wide pipe that I used in the video. I'll have that linked below in the description. Uh, so like the video, hit a subscribe, go check out my social media, and uh, thanks for watching.